we are going to be looking at one of this year's most viral skincare products. In fact, it's probably the most viral skincare product of the year. Is it overhyped, underhyped, appropriately hyped? We're going to take a look. I'm Dr. Shaw, Dr. Maxfield, and welcome back to our channel, Dr. Lee, where we talk about all things skincare and dermatology. Welcome back to our series where we review viral skincare products and we tell you whether or not we think that they're worth them. Hot off the press, it's the Ordinary's Soothing and Barrier Support Serum, and it has this visual appearance. It's very pink makes you want to try it, makes you wonder about it. And similarly, their AHA, BHA serum that was really a deep red and that also had that virality to it. So today we're going to be talking about this product. What makes it pink? Is it even good for the skin? All things, the ordinary barrier support. Here we go. Here we go. Starting off with packaging. There's something about packaging is like the first presentation of the product. And if you've listened to us before, we don't care much for packaging. Yeah, sure, like we have some nice packaging, we might get excited about it. Most ordinary products come in the same packaging, essentially glass bottle, dropper. Very, 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 very inexpensive packaging. Probably the least expensive packaging that you can get, but it's functional in the sense that it's glass, it's also opaque to some extent, um, so it's able to block out some of the light to some extent. I would give this packaging Five out of 10. Yeah, five out of 10, it's very average packaging, functional, inexpensive, and that's fine. So let's talk about the ingredients next. So like all ordinary products, this is fragrance free, which always gets a check box from me. Then let's talk about some of the other ingredients that are in this. Now, what actually causes to be pink? One of the most important questions about this product, why is it pink? I'm gonna tell you something. This product has exposed me. I've, I've learned that I'm a sucker for colors. Like if you look at some of my favorite products. Um, That's true. I May have, Love. May Love's Fade Away Serum. It's vivid, vivid green. This bubblegum pink serum. So I learned that about myself. I'm not gonna change that about myself. But what makes this pink? It seems to be the vitamin B12, which this is straight from The Ordinary's website. We don't talk much about vitamin B12 in skincare. Right, now it may have some antioxidant benefits. You may find a study here or there, but when we think about what things do in the skin, we have to think about what happens if you didn't have those things, right? Like if you don't have vitamin A, then your skin essentially like overgrows. If you don't have B12, nothing happens, right? So B12, deficiency doesn't manifest with any skin issues. Now that's not like a perfect science or anything, but probably has minimal benefits other than adding this nice pink color to the product. Right, and that kind of made it the flagship ingredient for the product in my mind, even though physiologically, it's probably not contributing to the effectiveness of the product. So it's colorful, but it's not fragrance, it's not synthetic, so I'm okay with it. Like if you wanna add this plant-based ingredient vitamin just for the aesthetics or the color, Cool. The other ingredients though are where you're going to get more of the robust benefits and does it actually calm, soothe, and repair, and protect, whatever. Does it do all the things that it says it does? So some of the ingredients that this product has that are some of the goodies, I would call it. It has niacinamide, which of course we love. It has centella in it, which is calming and soothing. It has bisobolol, which is also calming and soothing. It also has this ginger extract that's been shown to help with some inflammation and redness in the skin, and also ceramides, which help to repair the skin barrier. And again, doesn't have those fragrances that can irritate the skin barrier. So it's a pretty good balanced serum from a ingredient perspective. I think the overarching formula and functional ingredients all lend and work towards the same common goal, which is to soothe and hydrate and protect. So I like the formulation. I think the ingredients make sense. I think it's thoughtful. I can't remember, is this a point scale? Yeah, I think from a point scale perspective, I would say nine to 10 for the formula, the ingredient formula itself. I'm with you, let's give it a solid nine. I like it. So now let's talk about performance because if you looked at the ingredients of a cake and it showed up, you wouldn't know if that cake tastes good at all, right? So the question is, do we like this product? Does it perform like it's expected? Does it calm and soothe the barrier? Does it do any of these things? And I will say, this is a product I actually have quite a bit of experience with now because I've been using it for at least a month every single day. It found its way in every country I went to because I went to Dubai, I went to uh, Japan, I was in New York for a while and every single time, because it's so small, I was able to take it with me everywhere. So I've had this product, I've used it consistently. I have to admit, I like it quite a bit. Let me tell you about the experience. It, it does have a little bit of a stickiness to it in a way, but I like the way that a lot of serums can be pretty liquidy. This is, it, it has more of a glide to it, let's say. It does have a good amount of body 
for a serum, which I also like, especially with these soothing barrier serums, kind of hugs your skin and it leaves a bit of a residual film. Interestingly too, I have also used it, I think I'm a bottle down. I really have used this as consistently as I've used probably anything in the last month. And I've also used it when my skin barrier has been uh, irritated, when I've had an allergic reaction, no problems. I think it does a great job at soothing anecdotally. I also think it doesn't sting at all when you mm -hmm. apply it. Even if after, some people get stinging after they shave and then they apply skincare products, I think this product doesn't cause any stinging at all when you apply to at least in my experience it does feel like it calms the skin quite a bit i will say and i think dr maxfield is about to say the same thing <laughs> is that it does make your skin a little bit pink mm -hmm. for a little while i haven't noticed it lasting more than past the initial application i, I think that that pinkness goes away uh, you can tell me on camera what your experience is or what his experience is but I, I think it goes away with time but it does it does have a color to it and that's my main knock on it too i noticed and the thing is like am i over using it probably not i think i do like do a full serum full full dropper full when I use it. Uh, I did notice when I was shooting my videos, like, man, it does it does make my skin a little pink. So if you're someone whose skin is already a little pink, red from rosacea, maybe it's not for you, but it is subtle and it might just kind of improve as, as it sets into the skin there. So now let's talk about if this product is worth it and if whether or not we recommend it. This is 30 milliliters, one fluid ounce. It's gonna cost you a total of $13, which is a little expensive for the ordinary, but I believe everything is kind of going through inflation. It's also more a complex formula than ordinary is used to using. You know, they use single ingredient formulas, maybe complemented by a few hydrating and soothing ingredients. You know, you'll see an ingredient list of 10. This is a much more complicated formula. Maybe that justifies the price tag as well. But $13 for a skincare product is a pretty much the going right at this point. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's still, I, I don't think they missed on the price. I think it's still an affordable skincare product relative to everything out there. So price, I think also is a win for the formula. I think it's a win. I think it's all in line with what The Ordinary does. It's also Slovember, so it's a great time to just check it out. So let's talk about overall, is the product worth it? Do we recommend it? Here's my stance on this. I liked this a lot more than I wanted to. I kind of wanted to hate this formula. I know. Isn't that kind of weird? I, I wanted to not, I wanted to dislike it coming in because it was going viral and it was pink and it's a barrier support product, which I believe strongly in the barrier, but I also feel like a lot of brands are using barrier as a marketing term right now. And so I was like, oh great, another barrier product. But I do actually feel after using it for a long period of time that my skin did feel more calm, less red, less irritated than it had prior. I felt like it layered really well with my other skincare products, whether I was using at night or in the morning. It was easy to integrate into my routine because it doesn't really conflict with any other products that I was using. I don't think it's a necessary skincare product, especially if you have a moisturizer that's gonna already bring in a lot of these ingredients. Not necessary, but definitely approved, like the product a lot. Yeah, 100% approved. And I, I'm with Dr. Shaw on this too. I, I remember the first time uh, we looked at this together and he was like, oh, they're trying to recapture the virality of the uh, BHA serum. And I think there was this part of me too that was like, not yet, it's kind of gimmicky, right? Like obviously they put the coloring in to grab your attention, but they followed it up with a functionally great formula. So that's the lesson for you brands out there. If you want to be gimmicky, do it. But you better make sure that the body and substance of the product is great. And I think The Ordinary nailed it with this one. I think that's a fair assessment right there. Also just sort of clicked in my mind, the red product a lot of times it was disrupting people's skin barriers because they were overusing mm -hmm. it. Opposite. And then this is like a barrier product. So they're not the same. Don't mix one up for the other if you don't read the labels on your products, essentially. Color is very different, but just keep that in mind. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I think this one is approved. We'll put a link below for the product. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you next time.